G'day everyone, thanks for tuning in. Second of the two uh, system setup and product review videos for today. This one, Clover OS. I think it was Patrick McFarlane told me about this one. I, know, I don't know much about it. Uh, some, I think it was a friend of his uh, built it. So I thought we'd give it the backyard IT treatment. We're gonna have a sticky peek at it. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. And we have our standard test bench, four gig of RAM, dual core CPU, 120 gig drive. There it is there. Now I finally found the email I was looking for. This is a Gen 2 based OS. So I'm hoping it's live. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be in a small spot of bother. It should be live. I hope. <coughs> okay. I hope this is live. We could be in trouble if it's not. go with the default. That's so Gen 2 Linux. Okay. So, oh, it is live. Huh, okay. Um, a. Uh, yeah, I want it on that. Uh, yes. Huh, okay, hang on, I'll do passwords and come back. All right. So, I've got that bit done. That was quick. Okay. So we'll go through the uh, system here. If this actually works... I might be impressed with this. I mean, I've said before I'm no fan of Gen 2. Um, I don't like Gen 2 as a OS, but this one, at the moment, seems like it's not half bad. At least it's a live session. You know, you're not having to fiddle around. Using both cores... About a 278 meg install. Well, sorry, 2.7 gig meg install. It's pretty quick. Very quick. As I've said, you know, I'm not. I'm not a fan of Gen 2. I never have been, but. If this, if this is a Gen 2 distro that actually works properly as per most of the other Linux distros that we've had a look at where I'm not spending three quarters of an hour. Okay. Uh, I-386? Okay. Oh, bad password. Oh. Jeez, that was quick. That was really quick. Uh, enter. Could not find root block device in. Oh. Uh, Q. Skip. Could not 
mount specified route try again what the hell did I do wrong um okay let me try this again viewers hang on a moment all right let's try this again I'm not quite sure what went wrong there something went a bit pear-shaped it should have just installed because I set up automatic partitioning but for some reason it's ignoring these inode sockets oh, someone will tell me what I did wrong I'm sure <coughs> I've made it a bigger hard drive. I've given, I've redone it to 180 gigs. So I'm hoping it'll do it that way. Hopefully it actually works this time. Hopefully it can't be heard, but I've actually got the TV on in the background because it's the start of the um, Ashes Test Match with Cricket series for summer here in Australia, so I've got the TV on already. Hopefully this works this time. It's done it again. Cannot find the root block device. Oh, this is what I don't like. SDA. Okay. Not a valid root device. Okay. Hmm. Huh. It, it it it's not there. Um Huh. Okay. Um, does someone want to tell me what went pear shaped here? Uh, I'd like to have a look at it, but I, it didn't install. Someone can let me know what went wrong. That'd be great. I'll uh, I'll upload the video now. Let me know. Thanks for watching.